Hello, everybody. I am going to show you my first custom Lego house that I'm going to put on YouTube. This is a two and a half story house. It's a single family home and it can accommodate a family of three. And you can see that the family members are right here. You have a husband and wife plus a child. And I'm going to start at the front yard. The yard is pretty simple, but it has a garden with a couple flowers. You have a watering can for taking care of those. There are more flowers on the po porch under the overhang at the front of the house, which you can see a little bit better if you look through the sides of the porch. You have a neat lattice fence. Here's the front walkway that leads to the front door. There are lights around the front door. You have a mailbox right by the fence. A little letter. You have a lamppost to illuminate the front yard in the evening or at night. And you have a pretty neat tray. You could say that's like a fruit tree. There's really no backyard here, although you do have a door that leads out the back of the house on the first floor. And I used glass windows for the entire bottom floor. However, I used windows with shutters on the whole second floor. There are gla two glass windows for the attic. Now, the attic is not inhabitable, but since you could use it for storage, since it has windows, I'm going to say that this house is two and a half stories. You have vents on the side of the roof, on the side of the attic, and a chimney leading up from the fireplace in the living room. And I can easily remove the sections so that you can see inside. And I am going to start off with the, the first floor. This is the first level. When you come in through the main entry door, which opens outward. And that's unusual considering that most house doors open inward. The staircase for the second floor is right ahead, right in front of you. And then you have the living room, which has a yellow couch, a coffee table with a coffee mug on it, a TV set, which has buttons, on the bottom here, and a fireplace. I have translucent red bricks here, which act as real flames in the fireplace, and then there's a small mantle up top. But you don't really have any room to store anything on it because it's so close to the ceiling. Now the windows on the first floor have glass panes that rotate to vary the amount of air into the room. The whole back of the first floor contains the kitchen and dining area right here. You have, now even though this is just a family of three, if you wanna have extra guests over, you can seat up to six people at this table and I put just some dishes and cups on the table. And here's the dishwasher. The sink. You have your stove, your stove range and your uh, oven. And you can pretend that like, I forget if I, if this was going to be the refrigerator or the microwave oven. 
Okay, this is the microwave oven, and then this is the refrigerator, the bottom door. I don't have anything in there, but on the top door, I have some pretend food items. Now you can see that the floor in the entire kitchen and dining area is tiled. The rest of the floor on the first level is not. Then if you go to the right here, by the front, you have the laundry room, and then you also have a powder room. Now the powder room has this simple door that would come off so, to, so you could enter the room, but I can't really take it off because the stairs get in the way. So I'm just gonna keep that shut. And then you have, Unfortunately, I could only fit one appliance here, and I guess you could pretend that's the washer. In reality, you would have a dryer, a dryer there too, but these two cone-shaped pieces are laundry detergent bottles. The powder room just contains one toilet. I couldn't fit a sink in there. I have a small window for the kitchen. Chimney leading up from the fireplace in the living room. Now here's the second floor. This house has two bedrooms plus a full-size bathroom and this is the kids room here. You have like toys, which are represented by these miscellaneous bricks that I put in the corner here, plus a skateboard. You can put the kid in his bed if you want. You also have a lamp right next to the bed. You have a wardrobe. I put a like a shirt in here to represent the many clothes that he would have in his closet. Then here's the upstairs hallway. You have railings next to the stairs so that people don't accidentally fall down. A small table with a lamp. Now you can see that although the bedroom windows have plain shutters, The hallway windows have lattice shutters, which you can see there. The hallway floor is tiled, although the bedroom floors are not. Here's the master bedroom, and you can put the husband and wife together. You have a fancy lamp next to the bed. You have two windows immediately adjacent to one another. You have an extra large wardrobe. I have regular doors for the bedrooms. As well as the master bathroom. And then you have a toilet and a bathtub, which is not perfect. But you have your sink and vanity out in the main bedroom, which is often the case for those uh, for master bedrooms. I have no mirror, unfortunately. You have fancy tiling for the bathroom floor, which I think it should be. And then when you're done, you can just put the attic back on the house. There's nothing to show inside, really. It's just the uh, Lego structure for the attic. And there you have it. You close these windows. 
close the front door. I'll open up the back door. You also have a fancy light fixture next to the back door. You could pretend that there's like a patio or just a backyard. But thank you very much for watching this video of this two and a half story custom Lego house. I hope to upload more custom Lego creation videos soon.